from Utah to Uzbekistan. Welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans from around the world. It is your host Galadon and it indeed is the 15th episode of No Clash, Clash of Clans. That's right, I have fantastic news to report in the last episode, which could have been the very last episode of the series. I asked you, the viewer, to go ahead and subscribe. If we got 100 or more subscribers, two fantastic things would happen. Number one, the series continues, and number two, we donate $1 for each of those new subscribers to the video, and sure enough, you guys nailed it. 115 subscribers so far, the numbers continue to go up, and that means 115 bucks donated to the Wounded Warrior Project. Check them out at woundedwarrior.org. Appreciate all of those of you who have served our country, kept us safe, and their families. It's a fantastic charity. Please do check it out. And of course, that means in today's episode, I've got nothing to ask of you guys. It's true. I'm not going to ask you to like the video. That's up to you. If you want to go right ahead, the button's right there. Not going to ask you to subscribe. Yes, it's that easy. In fact, because I wasn't demanding, maybe it's a fantastic time to, to use code Galadon in the shop before you make a purchase. Check out that little white C at the top right. If you're going to buy gems or packages, it helps out all content creators Using code Galadon keeps the videos and channel alive. So thank you guys that are doing that. But okay, so what's happening over here? Lots of upgrades of all kinds. Again, we're trying to focus on the loot related upgrades. Those are the ones that matter the most when an account is not attacking at all, right? Right, yes. So mostly, primarily storages, pumps, mines, and drills. And then when those get maxed out, before we go to the next town hall, it's all about making the village look less terrible right? It, it, it looks rushed. Obviously, it doesn't look so hot right now as a Town Hall 10. So once these Dark Elixir drills are maxed out, that will mean everything resource related is maxed out for Town Hall 10. Then we'll get to focusing on the broken down looking Archer Towers, Expos, Cannons, whatever else the case may be. The walls, the walls, I don't know why, but I keep on throwing tons and tons of resources into the walls. Actually, I, I probably can't tell you why. It's because of the fact that I oftentimes don't have any free builders and where else am I going to throw the loot? And yes, I know, I know. In the comments, people keep saying, Galadon, if you're not attacking, why are you upgrading the barracks, the lab, any of those things? And you never know. You never know where this account goes in the future. There is going to be a point where we get to somewhere around Town Halls 11, 12, maybe even 13, where I simply decide it's not worth it, right? The, the entertainment value, the grind is just too crazy slow to warrant continuing a No Clash account. But of course, again, every other episode, I'll always give you guys the chance to vote to keep this series going. Last episode, it was new subs. Next episode, eh, I don't know. We'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens in episode number 16 of No Clash Clash because, yes, that episode is guaranteed. So now we're just kind of clicking through the defenses, trying to find the lowest level defenses, get those upgraded just a little bit. And again, the hardest part about this entire series is remembering to log on. At least with Gold Pass, No Cash, all of the other accounts, there's a reason to get out there. I need to attack in CWL in regular clan wars to get the star bonus to work on the gold pass. Over here, there's there's really nothing. And in fact, I can't log on that often because we're not just going to be spending crazy gems because that would be no fun. Oh, how hard is it to gem an account? No, wait, I, I actually did that on my main account. So yeah, so we can't do that again. This is a different approach than any other video series probably done by any other creator out there. And we all know why uh, it is an April Fool's joke gone wrong. Okay, back to upgrading walls unnecessarily. We're focusing on the walls because, well, the raid medals are there, because the loot is there, because usually the builders are tied up, and there's no way I could do five expensive defenses. But this is the good news. We've got tons of Dark Elixir. I even have another rune of Dark Elixir saved up after this one is all spent. So the heroes are going to continue to get quick upgrades Pretty much every time they're available, they're going back down. And I'm not going to spend, you saw right there, the Dark Elixir in the lab. That is because I want to focus it on those heroes. You guys remember Town Hall 9, 10, terrible hero grinds for normal players. 
yeah, we're going to try to get them caught up. And also, the walls are finally going to all go to level 10. So we're getting there. You know, the pain of going to level 11 is going to be pretty substantial. And the raid medals, I simply, yeah, no, it's going to take many, many, many weeks worth of raid medals to try to get these walls to level 11. So please be patient and know that we will probably always have rushed walls no matter where we stand on this account. But I would like to ask you guys, what do you think of the idea of going to Town Hall 11? Even with my defenses looking like this, is it too soon? Might it be fun? Should we continue to rush because it doesn't really penalize a player that doesn't attack? I don't know. I'm listening to your comments down below and uh, I will go with the majority opinion. Whatever you guys think, we'll stick to it. Although we are always going to be somewhat rushed the question remains, is it somewhat rushed or really, really rushed, or does it even matter? Okay, so yes, for now, the aesthetics of the Archer Towers going up another level together, you can see they're done in less than 12 hours, so we got to keep things busy over here. Yes, I am going to occasionally do the Spell Factories anyway when we have extra loot, but again, like I said, for now, Dark Elixir is heroes only, okay? Nobody else gets to drink the Dark just the hero is going to be using that until we can at least get them to like 30, 30 or so. Archer Towers are done. How about that? Another day, another dollar? Actually, not a dollar. I didn't spend any money, I promise. But getting matchy, matchy Archer Towers is oh so important, right? Yes, okay. And oh yeah, here we go. Put the Archer Queen down. I forgot to do that a little bit earlier. So she is down and on her way to level 23. So yeah, I mean, I'm actually surprised for an account that doesn't attack how many hero upgrades I've been able to do then just the random air defense might as well go ahead and then we come back another day or two later and here you go barbarian king he's up no barbarian king he's down he is now going to be of legal voting age and that's not important okay let's move on here we go archer towers yes we want to get those matched up as well and yes those upgrades are still generally a day or less which i'll tell you it makes this account fun to play because we don't have to wait around for a week at a time like on no cash and gold pass clash so here's the way it looks right now as we finish episode number 15 it's looking pretty healthy that's a cool looking base that has never attacked another player status report time check it out the trophies yes natural progression from stronger walls and yeah. defenses brings us to nearly 1000 trophies for the very first time how far can we go that's going to be interesting to watch gems we actually are again on the positive side up to nearly Ooh. 500 so maybe a book of heroes is in our future speaking of heroes the barbarian king and the archer queen both saw many levels today so we oh. are going to focus on getting them to 30 30 thank you galifam for focusing and sticking around all the way to the end of the episode you know you're the true hashtag galifam that's why i love thinking about it. and I appreciate every single one of you every single day so get out there and make the best of the rest of your day week month and year be kind to other people animals on the planet i'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks Galadon, Galadon, I just noticed this account, if you never attack, you can never fail. Brilliant idea, Galadon. <laughs>